So let me ask you a personal question. Does this, you know, with all the medication and everything, does this interfere with uh, you and Amy, uh, you know, doing whatever? What kind of shit is that to ask? Hey, I said it was a personal question. I got involved with Take Two by a wonderful producer by the name of David Levin. Uh, I had worked with him on a, on a few other shows, and we happened to be talking one day, and he said uh, that he had this idea, and he had these great scripts, and, and just put a, the whole concept across to me about Take Two, and I immediately got it. I said I would love to direct it, and how about maybe thinking of Donnie most of myself? And he thought that that was like, it was actually perfect for the concept and for the pilots. When he said, I want to do this, I did, I did cartwheels. We have the credibility of one of the best directors in television today working on this show. Can we check NASCAR for just a minute? No, you can't check NASCAR. Come on, the guy's up by like four strokes. Let me just check it. What the fuck is wrong with you, Billy? What? He sent me the material. Phenomenal material. I mean, some of the best writing I've seen in years. I mean, it's such high caliber. I mean, honestly, uh, Neil, you thought Neil Simon Plus would have written this material. And what's the check on? Huh? Guys driving around and around and around, it's meaningless. It's not meaningless. Some of those cars are going like 200 miles an hour. Going where, Billy? Where the fuck are they going? In circles? Get a life. Somebody's on the rag today. The toughest thing when, when Ants and I read them is, uh, which one do we want to do? Because they were all so good. I think it's a shame that we can't talk about such things, you and me because of our maleness. Because women get together, they talk about anything. You ever see sex in the city? Jesus Christ. They're talking about uncircumcised dicks and cervical mucus and every fucking thing. And I'll tell you a secret. I wouldn't fuck any one of them. They think they're so fucking hot. Not in my book. Fred Stropel is a major talent. I've read so much for so many years that you get a little, um, jaded in, ter in terms of material, and especially when someone says, oh, I have this great material I'm going to send you. Well, it's never great. This time it was great. You got to be kidding. Something for both of us to consider. Oh, you have crossed the line. You so crossed the line. You're going to go to hell just for thinking that. Have a really good trip. Give my regards to Satan. I have, I have, I would say, about 40 other of these plays, and uh, they're all between 15 and, and 30 minutes long. Um, a lot of two-character plays, men and women, two men, two women. Such an enormous amount of, of, of works ready to, ready to be produced. It's like being an, it's like, it's like, it's like a director-producer's nirvana. Tiger Woods, okay? Let's say Tiger finds out he's got this new disease, and if he swings a golf club too many times, he can become crippled for life. What kind of fucking disease is that? It's a hypothetical disease, okay? Working with Donnie is always great. I've had the opportunity as a director to direct him a couple of times. Uh, but to work with him as an actor again, it was just, it was, it was, it was, even though it was so different, we played such different characters, there was such an innate chemistry, and we like each other so much, it was just an opportunity to have just a wonderful creative time. I don't need this bullshit. Get the fuck out. To see him with Donnie again was just real magic. I'm just thrilled to be part of it.